Oh. All right. <clears throat> Look, do I have a mic? Maybe I have a mic. Do I have a mic? I do have a mic now. Can you hear me? Maybe you can, maybe you can't, but anyway. I'm Chris, hope you're in the best of your life. I know that I am. So, I wanna talk about something that's really important to me, and that is, a couple things, is public speaking, which I was asked about. Also with public speaking, it's how, if you wanna become a better public speaker, you wanna be better with people, it's actually not focusing on what you do, it's focusing on the other person and respecting the other person and their time, their courtesy, everything else. So, a few minutes ago, I was watching, listening to a video on tardiness. And we was talking about tardiness, so being late, and how being late is the really ultimate form of disrespect. Um, the really, what's the most valuable asset we have in the universe? It's our time and our energy, but our time. And the way you show the utmost respect for another person is by respecting their time. And so, let me draw this circle, draw this picture, whatever it is, and bring it back to the question of public speaking. So. For me, I grew up super shy. I didn't want to talk to anyone. I was scared of people, in fact. In fact, I would say I was terrified of people at times. But what helped me develop a skill to speak to people, help them out, was realizing, as my dad would tell me, the reason you learn to speak to people, the reason you learn to carry a conversation well, the reason you learn to be respectful, is not so necessarily so you are this amazing human being, but it's because you can communicate better so you can be more respectful to the other person. You can help them grow. You can help them and be respectful of their time by using good words, good communication. And I went, huh. And so for me, when I first learned the business stuff, I learned to follow scripts. And if you worked in sales, you probably used a script before. And when the reason you have a script is not so you can like manipulate this person per se, but the reason if you have a good script, the reason why is so you can give them the best possible professional communication and sales process possible. So you give them the best communication so everything is upfront, so that you know exactly what to expect and so that you are helping them the best way possible. That's what you have when you have a good script. And so for me, learning to follow a script is what helped me go from the scaredy cat around people to being able to talk to people. Then after I did thousands of presentations, that really helped me develop to just be easygoing, to be relaxed, have fun, to appreciate others, to listen better, to intently help people, everything else. It's just, it's a skill, guys. It's like learning to ride a bike. And once you learn it, you really don't forget it, which is a great thing. And so if, um, if you really want to, if you are shy and you have difficulty speaking to people, I would say the best thing to view communication as, it's not about you, but it's about how can I best serve this other person? How can I help this person understand my point? The reason you learn to not use filler words like um, why, stuff like that, is so you are better with your time. You're more succinct in your communication. When you're more succinct in your communication, people teach you, treat you better. They take you more seriously. They treat you with respect. They don't take advantage of you the same way. When you're always saying, um, 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 there, stuff like that, people just don't treat you as well. I know one thing about me, I tend to speak fast. At times, I naturally have a fast cadence. So I will actually force myself to slow down on occasion when I know people need to um, hear me or need to get a more strong point across at times. But people tend to take me seriously because I say things strongly. And the way you learn to do that is you just do more of it. Um, like I remember the big thing for me, why did I learn to speak? Or, or learn to speak up or be confident. I wanted a girlfriend. <laughs> That's why I wanted a girlfriend. I didn't want to be alone forever, man. I wanted to have a girlfriend. I want to be loved, everything else. And um, yeah, and learn to speak well. All those soft skills takes you places and it has in my life because I can just kind of talk to anyone. But because I made it a habit, I made it a point and I just did it. And so I would say if you struggle with people I would make this your new ritual habit. I would say every time you go out, make it a point to legitimately and sincerely compliment someone. And it could be the person at the grocery store. It could be the person who pumps your gas if you live in New Jersey <laughs> or some European country, I don't even know. Um, or it could just be whoever, just someone you pass by. Like guys, if I'm feeling down, sometimes I'll say like, hey, just be polite to someone and just legitimately be like, hey, I like your haircut. Hey, I like your shoes. What kind of shoes are those? Where'd you buy them? 
And yeah, it's amazing like that. And so what's incredible too is um, my friends, as they've been on dating apps and all these things, are like, how is it that Chris always has a girlfriend or Chris always has girls around and blah, blah, blah. It's not because I'm special. It's because I just start conversations. I'm just like, hey, I like your shoes. Where'd you buy them? Hey, I like that shirt. Where'd you buy that? That's a cool looking jacket. That's very interesting. It's an interesting design. Um, who designed that? Is there a reason you bought that? Um, and if you ever worked in sales, the traditional thing they teach you is form, which is family, occupation, recreation, money. Those are the four pillars that can basically always have a conversation, always have small talk with someone over. Um, but anyway, if you want to talk to more people, just talk to more. That's what helped me. I hope it helps you. Anyway, I'm Chris. Have the best of your life. Talk to you soon. Mwah. Adios, amigo. Bye-bye.